Welcome to the Outlines tutorial for Digital Anarchy's TuneIt Photo Plugin for Photoshop, Photoshop Elements, and Aperture. I'm Jim Tierney, President of Digital Anarchy. And TuneIt is a plugin that takes your photographs and turns them into cartoons. In this tutorial, we'll go in depth discussing how the edge detection works, what the options are, and how to use outlines both with and without the color region showing. TuneIt does a great job of turning human features into a believable cartoon. And so that's why in most of our tutorials you're going to see us use images of people because that's really the hardest stuff to do. And again, where TuneIt really shows its strength. So let's apply TuneIt here. We'll go up to the filter menu, come on down to the digital anarchy submenu, and go to TuneIt and select that. The TuneIt interface opens. And you'll notice immediately I have a cartoon effect applied with the color regions and the outlines showing. So for this tutorial, we're mostly going to focus on the outlines. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the color regions right now. I can go to my Outlines tab and just click on Outline Only. And that will get me back to my pen and ink type of drawing. It gets rid of the color regions and just leaves me with this black and white image. So I'm going to start off by talking about the soft outlines. So I'm going to turn on Use Soft. Now, as you may have noticed, soft is not nearly just black and white as Comic is. It has a lot more outlines, which are not just black or white. There's shades of gray in here as well. And so it provides a much different look. In this case, it almost gives us kind of an anime type of look. Now, one thing to notice about the outline tab is if you are looking to change the color of the outlines, if you're looking to do this drawing style effect, you can also change the background color. The first thing to know about outlines is that it's all based on the edges in your original image. So if we take a look at our original image by doing a right click on the viewer and saying show original image, you can see that there are very hard outlines, like her hairline here, where the hair meets the background, her shoulder over here. And these are pretty obvious places that are going to get very well-defined outlines when we switch back to the outlines effect. However, you'll notice that there are much more subtle areas, such as on her cheek here, on her forehead, where, the, uh, where there's some light fall off. Her forehead is very bright in the center here, but not so much on the sides. Now these are areas that might not have an outline right off the bat, and you might not want outlines there. But depending on how much detail you want in your image, you may want them there. So let's go back to the cartoon effect. And the reason that I mentioned the edge detection that happens within the image is because all of the parameters, both soft and comic, are really about telling the plugin how many edges you want to detect and how strong you want them to be. How thick do you want the outlines to be? How dark do you want them to be? And that's really what strength is all about. Strength is telling TuneIt to say, as you increase it, to give me more outlines in the image. So the really well-defined outlines are going to become darker. You're going to start seeing outlines in areas that weren't there before. It's going to start picking up on the less distinct regions in the image, like the cheek, like the forehead, and as I start to increase this, you're going to start to see more and more of those lines start coming in, and I can crank it all the way up, and you're going to start to see the cheek come in, you're going to see, start to see some lines over here. It's analyzing the image for edges, and as I set it down, only the most pronounced edges are going to show up. And as you go all the way up, you'll start to see details come in where there are just the barest of edges. Now the thickness is probably self-explanatory. It's going to increase the thickness of the lines. So as I increase this, we're going to start to see the lines that exist in the image become much more pronounced. They're going to become much more bold. The lines that were barely visible, such as on her cheek and the forehead, are going to start to become much darker. And the lines that were already very well defined are just simply going to become much larger. And you can start getting some interesting effects here. You know, in this case, we've almost got a brush painting type of look. And when you, especially once you start playing around with this in combination with the blur settings back here, uh, you can really get some 
really creative looks out of this. So that's soft. We tend to prefer it a little bit along the minimalist side, so uh, a lower setting generally is a little bit better. But obviously you can season to taste, and uh, that's why we provide so many options here. And of course the transparency here is just if you have this on top of a cell shaded look, or if you have it on top of the original image, you can reduce the transparency and make those outlines lighter. So now I'm going to go ahead and turn on Use Comic. Now you'll notice that you can have both of these active at the same time. However, usually there's a great deal of overlap and there's not really that much point to having them both on at the same time. So in this case, we're going to turn off Use Soft. And you'll notice actually that there's very little difference between what it looks like with it on and off. And Comic really produces a very distinct pen type of look that you normally see in old-fashioned comics or Sunday comics or something like that. There's not a whole lot of, shade of shades of gray. It's really just very black and white with very distinct hard-edged outlines. Now strength and thickness work pretty much the same way they did for soft. You can see as we crank the thickness up, our outlines are just going to get th thicker, creating almost a woodcut type of look in this case. And so we'll set it down to around 6. And in truth, strength and sensitivity kind of work together. Sensitivity determines how much detail the edge detection sees. You have to be careful because this control is very sensitive, especially with the higher thickness or a higher strength. Raising sensitivity only 10 degrees increases the amount of detail quite noticeably and adds some stiffness to the line quality. If I set sensitivity all the way up to something like 90, you can see that the comic outlines have gotten so dense that they have formed entirely dark areas. And in this case, we're pretty far zoomed out, so really to get a good feel for what the image is really going to look like, you really have to be zoomed in to something closer to, say, like 33. And this will give you a better idea of what your final image is going to look like. When you're really zoomed out like that, the look of the preview can vary pretty significantly from what the final render will look like. So you can see that if we take our sensitivity all the way down to say something like 40, the lines really start going away and we have a much more minimalistic type of a look to our drawing. So it's really about finding a balance between sensitivity, strength, and thickness. So now let's take a look at the Blur tab and see how the Blur settings affect our outlines. So as we've discussed in other tutorials, the Blur can have a pretty serious effect on the overall image, both the color regions and the outlines. The way the Blur works is the radius sets the amount of Blur, much like it does with Gaussian Blur or Smart Blur or some of the other Blur filters, and Threshold determines where that Blur is applied to. The lower the threshold, the less it's applied to the image. So as I lower this down, only areas that are very similar are going to get blurred together. It's going to look at edges and keep the edges very well defined, very much like the smart blur effect. As I increase the threshold, more and more portions of the image are going to be blurred out. It's going to start looking at areas that have a more well-defined edge and start blurring that out. And then, of course, as I increase the radius, it really blurs the underlying image out because that's what's happening with the main blur is, it, is this is a pre-blur. It's being applied to the image before the outlines are created. But usually you're going to want to keep this to around between 2 and 4 and a medium threshold. Now you can see that if we turn the radius all the way off, more detail in the image. And, of course, you can have the outlines blur differently than the color regions. You can turn on use outline blur and this will only be applied to outlines and the main blur will just be applied to the color regions. So I think we now fully understand how outlines work in TuneIt. I'll click the OK button which is sort of off of the screen to render this back out into Photoshop. We have lots of tutorials and free demo filters and presets and all sorts of stuff on our website at www digitalanarchy.com so I encourage you to roll on by there and check things out but uh, thanks for joining me and happy cartooning